There is a pattern, it seems, in the eruption in the Swartzengi volcanic system. We will have a land uplift always, as we had in the December 2023, and followed by a sudden rise in the level of the ground made by GPS measurements, then a fall. This will be followed by eruption. And uh, less than a few hours, this is the MBL camera showing that, and uh, this is the SAR image, radar image, showing the spread of the magma around the Swartzengi area. Swartzengi itself is safe, is relatively safe in that area, it's compacted the ground. Then we had the, again, land rising. January eruption was a single outlayer. We didn't have any rise or drop in the major thing, just a one peak. It was quite far from that region. Uh, in where we measure in Swartzengi. So that was probably the reason we didn't see that big fall in the magma level. This is again the radar image showing the uh, tongue of the lava, which actually also reached the part of the north of the Grindavik. Then we had this February rising again the land, then falling, and presto, we had this eruption. In the MBL camera, we can see again, and uh, it was quite fast. Half an hour after that rise and fall, we had the eruption. It was very fast, but it was large in volume, larger than all of the past eruptions in, the, in this decade so far. It has spread a thin layer of lava over every, everything in nearby Swartzengi, including the pipeline. Now we have again the rise of the magma under the Swartzengi based on the GPS data. Every day is one centimeter or 10 millimeter is rising. And that area is again bulging up. Uh, again, I told you that it's compacted that area. What we will see is that again, the pattern starts from the Reckonus Ridge in this ocean, Atlantic Ocean, then moves in the caterpillar effect. We have that cap caterpillar effect before this February eruption. And surprise, surprise, it's continuing after it. It is a spreading probably and uh, as I mentioned, crushing and melting the pathway for the magma to go through the seal to where the dike is and erupts again. If we uh, see this uh, pattern continued, it, we may have an eruption, it, as I mentioned, is related probably to the tide. Every six hours it repeats. And uh, we may have that pattern indicating that the eruption will be happening in near or around the full moon or the new moon where the tides are highest. Again, we see that the sourcing Blue Lagoon area is rising. The connection to the sill, to the dike, that means the, again, that system which is around the uh, Sundunka to the north of it, my estimate is that it will erupt there. We can see actually in the tremors, char tremors uh, depth here that the earthquakes at a depth uh, are extending toward the north of the Swartzengi Blue Lagoon area. This is where the magma is rising as the earthquakes open up the way for it. And it has, of course, to crush and melt the pathway for itself to rise into through the seal to the dike. So we had the 1st of December, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th eruption in March 2024. My prediction is that I may be wrong, but uh, we will wait and see. The February full moon is 26th of the, or 25th or 26th of the February, uh, and the new moon will be in the March uh, 10 and 11. So we will see how it is, and uh, I will report you on that. Magma is rising again. It may erupt any moment soon.